Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just share with you just the specifics. You've, you've heard a lot of the concerns being expressed by everybody up here. I, I want to give you a, a specific on where in South Dakota the impact that, that this proposed rule right now would have on our state. We've got 820,000 people in the entire state. We have one coal-fired plant. If the laws were implemented the way that the EPA has proposed them today, we lose the plant because it would be able to operate less than 23% of the time. You can't operate a coal-fired plant 23% of the time. So we would basically lose the, the operation of the only coal plant that we have in, in the entire state of South Dakota. Now, we don't produce coal. We buy coal. And we need it because it's a firm source of power for us. Uh, the other sources that we use right now, we're a hydroelectric state. We've got five main stem dams along the Missouri River. It's clean technology. We utilize it today. I don't think we're going to be building any more dams on the Missouri River. And I think the same organizations that are suggesting we shut down our coal-fired plant are the same ones that would oppose us if we tried to create more hydroelectric power in our part of the country. So from our perspective, number one, we know we need electricity. We don't see other alternatives out there that are firm, that are available to us. It still, get co it still does get cold in our part of the world. And uh, w you, know, you wake up and it's 20 below zero in South Dakota or in Minnesota or in North Dakota, uh, you want to make sure you got the power. It, it gets cold and, you, and consumers expect that you're going to have a firm source of power available to you. If this were to go into effect, it basically shuts down the only coal-fired plant we've got in the entire state. The other thing, just in terms of a, of a consumer issue, we estimate right now, best estimate is, is that for the average American family, if these rules were to go into effect uh, and if they were not delayed, the average cost to the American family in the United States would be about $140 per month to their to their utility bills. So uh, my, my compliments to... Uh, to uh, uh, Senator Capito, uh, I think this is, is is critical. Give us a chance to sit back and to actually ask for a little bit of that common sense to come back into the picture and support some legislation that's actually workable for uh, the rest of the country. And with that, I'd like to introduce another fellow senator that 